IDEX is a way for the SmoothWall to know who is logged in and where on your network. This allows the SmoothWall to apply the appropriate filtering and firewall settings based on who you are and your group membership, not just the device you happen to be using. IDEX Identity Indexing offers an alternative to authentication, which is simple to deploy via group policy, simple to configure with no reliance on external configuration such as DNS, able to attribute all web traffic to logged in user, so there's no authentication exceptions. This enables you to identify individual users that may need safeguarding and to help comply with the prevent duty. Resilient to external problems on the network, such as the loss of a server or network link. Transparent to the end user. There are no login prompts or messages displayed to the end user. IDEX is a background service, so no more user authentication calls to your help desk. Scalable. IDEX centrally identifies the users across many different independent domains. SmoothWall can replicate identity information across the SmoothWall cluster, removing yet more complex setup. Traditional authentication methods such as Kerberos and NTLM are precise in verifying user identity, but similarly are complex to set up. The SmoothWall needs to be joined to the Active Directory. Browsers and web applications need to support NTLM or Kerberos, or an authentication error will occur. This requires complex authentication exceptions to be set up and maintained, causing administrative overhead. To understand how IDEX is different, let's take a look at how traditional authentication works with SmoothWall. When a user logs on, your Active Directory domain controller grants the user permission to use the network. With traditional authentication, such as NTLM or Kerberos, every time a user makes a web request, the SmoothWall queries the Active Directory domain controller to ensure that the user has permission. It then retrieves the web content according to their firewall and filtering policies. This constant need to seek verification from the domain controller is highly secure, but is complex to set up and can cause problems if there is a loss of connection to the controller, leading to authentication errors. IDEX directory records the usernames, groups, IP addresses, and logged in timestamp for a user and integrates with the SmoothWall services that require identity information, such as Guardian and the firewall. It replicates data across nodes so that all servers have access to the current IDEX data and can apply actions before a client first connects. There are two ways that IDEX can gather this information. IDEX Client can be installed on any Active Directory domain joined devices, including Windows and Apple Mac OS workstations. It can be easily deployed and configured via Active Directory Group Policy and is transparent to the end user. IDEX Client interrogates the workstation firsthand as to who is logged into the device at any given time, and so it is not reliant on the connection to the domain controllers to identify users. When a user makes a web request, IDEX Client forwards the logged in user's username, groups, and web traffic to the SmoothWall. With no need to verify the user's permissions directly with the domain controller, the web content is returned according to the user's firewall and filtering policies. IDEX Client also enables you to identify users behind NAT devices or logged in using fast user switching or terminal services. IDEX Agent is an application which runs on Windows Active Directory domain controllers and can be deployed using Active Directory Group Policy. It monitors the Windows event log on the domain controller and notifies IDEX Directory of the logged in user's username and IP address in real time. This means that when a user makes a web request, the SmoothWall already knows how to identify the user and so can apply the appropriate filtering and firewall rules instantly, again with no need to communicate directly with the Active Directory domain controller. You can use the IDEX client or agent with IDEX Directory or both together. IDEX can be used for any Active Domain Directory domain joined users and devices, including Windows and Apple Mac OS workstations. It isn't intended for remote or off-site filtering, or for BYOD, such as Android Mobile. If you already have a trusted authentication method you are using, IDEX can work alongside it. There's no need to switch at this point, and existing methods will not be deprecated. IDEX is SmoothWall's recommended identification method for new installations. It is lightweight and easy to configure and manage compared to traditional authentication methods. IDEX enables easy identification of individual users to help with safeguarding needs and scales well over large installations, replicating information between smooth walls with no need for complex setup. 
Setting up IDEX. In this example, we have set up two smooth walls which are not set up in a central management node. You can use central management to share authentication settings, such as the use of IDEX directory, group information, group mappings, the list of custom nodes in the IDEX cluster as usual, but you do need to set up the IDEX cluster list as well. The first step is to set up some of the access rules in the SmoothWall firewall. These can be located in Network, Firewall, SmoothWall Access. Choose Add Rule. Give the rule a logical name, such as IDEX. Scroll down to Services, where you will see IDEX Cluster has been added for selection. Tick this and press Add to include it in the rule. If you are setting up just to use IDEX Agent on a single node system, you will also need to add the external rule for IDEX Cluster. It's the same rule. Click Save Changes. Repeat these steps for every smooth wall you are setting up for IDEX. Once complete, the nodes are now capable of talking to each other. Navigate to Services, Authentication, Settings to add your list of IDEX cluster nodes. You need to include the IP address of the SmoothWall itself. Here we will add the IP of this node, as well as the IP of the other node. Save Changes. Again, we will replicate this on our other SmoothWall as we are installing the IDEX on two nodes. These two nodes can now talk to each other and share information. As soon as a login is recognized on one node, it will be communicated to the other and vice versa. We will now add the IDEX client to a desktop. In this example system, we can see that there is no Active Directory configuration in the SmoothWall. The only thing joined to the domain is the desktop system. Download the IDEX Client Setup Installer and follow the on-screen wizard. In WebFilter Host, add the IP address of your SmoothWall. The WebFilter port is 1080. This is the port used in the access rule we set up. When prompted, click Install, and then click Yes to allow the software to make changes to your device. When the installation is done, click Finish. To set up an IDEX Client interface, Navigate to Guardian, Client Interfaces, IDEX Client. Select Add Interface. Here, we see the interface that we want is selected, and we will use the standard port 1080. If you change the port number, be aware of other services that may use other ports, as selecting the same one could cause unwanted effects. Click Save Changes. You will need to set the proxy settings on your chosen machine. This can be done via Group Policy to enforce settings. In this example, in Internet Explorer, we set it to use a proxy server. Browsing on this machine, we now see that we are able to get to an allowed site, but the filtering rules we have applied in our smooth wall now apply, and stop the user getting to a gambling site we have blocked. Navigating on the SmoothWall to Services, Authentication, User Activity, we can see that the username under the domain has been recorded by the IDEX client without being joined to a domain controller. This will also pick up system services such as Windows updates as well as local machine accounts. These are user accounts local to the machine itself rather than on our domain, so if someone logs on using a local username, IDEX client will still pick this up. In this example, there is no group listed. IDEX client only sends the username and group membership information, but doesn't provide group mapping. 
The next step, which enables this, is to set up the IDEX directory. Navigate to Services, Authentication, Directories, and then click Add a new directory. Again, this will need to be done for each node. Select the IDEX directory radio button and click Add. This provides a means for the authentication system to use the IDEX system to look up who is going in what group. Click on the directory name to expand it and click on Add a new group mapping. Choose the directory group you want to map and select the local group. Returning to user activity, we can now see that the user is linked to the group we selected. Repeat these steps for every smooth wall you are setting up for IDEC. Now when we navigate to user activity on the second smooth wall, we see it is aware that the user has logged in and the group that they are a part of. Installing IDEX Agent. This desktop is the domain controller for the domain we have just demonstrated. Download the Smoothwall IDEX Agent setup software and click through the installation wizard. This needs to be installed on each domain controller, not just one within your network. As with the IDEX client, add the IP address of the Smoothwall and the port of your IDEX cluster. Now when we log on a desktop, we see in the user activity, our user has logged in again. Checking the other node in our cluster, we see that the login information is replicated as before. Again, on our workstations, we need to ensure that the proxies are set up for the smooth wall for filtering rules to apply. In the web filter logs, we see the user browsing. As it works with the core authentication, you will not be able to NAT this machine, and there is only one user per IP. IDEX can be used with the load balancer, should you use one in your network. Navigate to Web Proxy, Web Proxy, Settings, and click Advanced. Enter the IP address of your load balancer, and click Save and Restart the Proxy. Navigate to Guardian, Client Interfaces, IDEX Client, and choose Add Interface. You will now see the load balancer is available to choose as well as the physical interfaces. Now, when you set up the load balancer, IDEX will work with your system. Mm -hmm.